Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk. I'm Heidi Smith, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. And today I thought I would use up some of this lovely um, Favoured Flowers DSP for this fun pop-out planter card. Um, Mother's Day is on its way and I thought this was a lovely way to create a card that would have a real wow fact when it was displayed. And I've used a few, um, some old favourites, Forever Fern from the annual catalogue, along with the lovely Something Fancy for the sentiment and for that inner panel, that sort of tag on the inside. And I've also used colour and contour for those layers on the front. So I've done a layer of vellum here and then a layer of basic white using colour and contour. So all sorts of bits and pieces. And I'm using up some of the DSP from Celebration. Um, and this is the one where the front wasn't my favourite. Um, it was quite dark. Looks great in small pieces. Um, but as you can see, sort of some lovely flowers on there. And it does coordinate with those in the mini catalogue. But on the reverse, you've got these fabulous all over designs, which were far more my thing. So I love Blackberry Bliss and Fresh, Fresh Freesia. Uh, we've got some Petal Pink and Calypso Coral. And then some Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent um, and Mossy Meadow in there as well. So that's the paper I'm using, because when it comes for free, you can use it up with abandon. Um, so, um, lots of stamping, lots of die cutting, um, bits and pieces, but I think it's worth it to make a special card. So the first thing we're going to do is actually do some stamping. So I've got a piece of basic white um, and there's lots of stamping we need to do. So we, um, I'm using a range of colours. So I'm using Evening Evergreen. I'm going to do my uh, this next one using Calypso Coral and Soft Succulent. Um, that we've got here. I've already popped my stamps onto the blocks um, and these are sort of you know really detailed stamps so with the bigger ones particularly I would recommend that you take the ink pad to the um, to the stamp so you don't get lots of pooling of ink and then I'm just going to stamp that as you can see there lots of lovely detail in there we're going to need several of these, so I'm just going to stamp it and die cut one set, and I have prepared some in advance. So this is my Calypso Coral Flower. And you can see the super amount of detail. I'm going to stamp my leaves in soft succulent. So this long leaf sprig, I'm going to also do in soft succulent. And then this smaller one, I've just got a scrap of, of paper here because I'm going to stamp it in soft succulent, but I'm going to stamp off first. So you still get the detail, but it just takes it down a shade to give you another colour range as well. While I've got my inks out, as I said, I've already die cut um, one of these. I've gone for a smaller label. So with the um, something fancy, not only do you get sentiments, but you get these fabulous label dies. So the, I use the larger one on the first. I'm going to use the smaller one here. So you could layer those if you want to, or you could use one of these as well. So I'm going to use that one on the inside. So I'm just going to come off the side of that label and that just ties it in um, with, with the flowers that we're going to use. I've also used the splatter stamp as well. This is always nice to add a little bit of interest and detail to, um, to our stamped images. Although this is a fancy fold I just thought it was a lovely sentiment. Okay. So we're going to pop that to one side. We've got our label for the inside. And then I've got my uh, vellum layer as well. So vellum can always be a little bit tricky when, when you're adhering it. So this is a great way to um, add vellum to your projects because what I'm going to do is just glue my... Um, I probably should have, actually I should have used my snail, uh, my seal actually would have been easier um, than using wet glue but there we go so just layer that into the middle 
and just pop that to one side um, to dry. I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back there. As I said, so it can be awkward um, using vellum sometimes because you you don't want the adhesive to show and it can show through. So by putting a panel on the front of it, um, you're going to end up with, um, you know, it doesn't matter about the glue because it's not going to show and you can still get your dimension on the top there. So that's my outside, that's my inside. I'm going to add my dies to these and we're going to die cut and I'll take a little break and, or you can take a break and die cut some of the remainder as well. So with the dies, um, usual thing, because these have got a stem, so just make sure they hug the outside of the image and then at the bottom, you should be able to see the stem by moving it, it'll just block there and you can then Pop a bit of tape to keep that in place. Lovely detailed die. So again, all I'm doing, is you, hopefully you can see that. As you move it, it'll be white. But once it comes over the stem, it'll go dark. And that means it's nicely lined up. And again. the same just make sure those aren't overlapping you don't want to do damage any dies and then my final one so let's get those die cut and then I'll come back and we'll see some more so to create the card exactly I've actually got three of the large ones in the evening evergreen I've got two of the next size down in the full strength soft succulent I've got two in the stamped off soft succulent and then I've got one of the die cut. So within the um, within the Forever Fern you've got some that just die cut shapes as well. Um, and then I've got five of the Calypso Coral ready to go. Now for the, um, for the card itself, you can get it almost out of one sheet of A4 cardstock. So you're going to need two pieces of cardstock. The back piece is 21 and a half by 10.5 and you're going to score that at 14.5, at 17.5 and at 20.5. That you're then going to want a second piece which is 14 and a half by 10 and a half. And that's going to be at the front of our card. Next you want some layers. So you want a layer of basic white that is 14 by 10. You want a piece of DSP that is 13 and a half by um, 13 and a half by 9 and a half to layer onto that. Then you want two pieces which are also 14 by 10. And then lastly you need three pieces to decorate. So you want two pieces that are 4.5 by 2.5 and one that is 4.5 by 3.5. So there we go. So those are all the measurements for our DSP. They will all be down in the box in the description box below. Now the next thing we want to do is create our little planters for the inside. So take a piece that's 15 by 9 centimetres and you are going to score at two, at seven, at nine, and at fourteen. Then you're going to cut into three pieces of three centimetres. So those are our three smaller planters that we're going to want. Do I want three? No, I only probably want two. Anyway. <laughs> right, next you're going to, um, you want a piece that is 16 by 4. So 4 centimetres by 16. And you're going to score that at 2.5, which I'm doing on the right. Then at 7.5 at 10 
and at 15 centimetres. Then you're going to create the inner pieces as well. So you want a piece of card that is... Um, this one is 6.8 by 3.5 which is this one here and you're just going to score at one centimetre on both sides you then want a second piece and this one is 6.8 by 5 centimetres you're going to score at one centimetre on both sides again And then cut that at two and a half. Okay. I cut one too many. You don't you only need two of those ones. <laughs> anyway, right, okay. Put that to one side. So I'll put the correct me measurements in the description box below. <laughs> okay, so now we're ready to start creating. So while we've got this one here, first thing I'm going to do is adhere this to our front panel. So I'm just going to add some Tombow and pop that on the left hand side. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to do my front layer first. Let's pop that on now. What I don't want to do What I wanted to do, pop, pop on first was actually this. Right, let's pop that. So this is quite, um, this is a great one. It's got quite a few places in the middle there where you can dab some glue. I'm not gonna to come too far up to the top because I just want, or over to the sides because I do want it to overhang our layer. So let's pop that on first. There we go. Then I'm going to pop some dimensionals on there. I'd forgotten about my layer. This is what happens when you prep in advance. It's like, ah, yes. So I'm just going to pop some dimensionals over the top of that Tombow and pop that on top. I'm going to come in with one of my sprigs, which I forgot to tell you to stamp. You want one of these sprigs, so that's just going to come in at the side here. Just one of the smaller sprigs, just adds a little bit of interest. And then we can pop again on some dimensionals in that bottom right hand corner. to pop a couple of dimensionals on there as well. And you can also add just a, t a dab of glue to a couple of these just to help stick them onto that next layer as well. Like so. so that's our front panel. So we can start creating. So grab your bone folder. This it card is quite is it does become quite bulky so it isn't it's really the one that I would gift rather than um, rather than pop in the post. So I'm just going to reinforce those so you're making a little pop out just like that. Then what you want to do is glue this onto the front onto that front tab like so so up to you what you use but you do want to use some strong adhesive um, and something that isn't going to move too much either so I would say either seal plus I'm going to use a bit of red tape for speed as well then just going to line that up And by folding it over, just make sure that it is in alignment. We 
go with our front. So that's our basic card. So we can now add our layers on. If you want it to be frugal, you could obviously um, gut the centre of this white out. Because you are not, we're not going to see the centre of that. And then we can add our layer of Calypso Coral DSP onto the front there. So that's now ready for us to add our focal panel. Into the middle, like so. While that's drying, we can add our DSP. So these are the 14 by 10 centimeter pieces that you cut previously. I'm just going to layer those in there and this one on the left is obviously going to cover up that most of that join. Like so. so because we've angled it slightly you really won't notice that. This is our label to go on the left hand side there. And just line that up with those, some of those. So you can add a message in there as well. And now we're going to create our little boxes. So we'll have this one large one and the two smaller ones. And this is where the, sort of the bulk comes in a little bit. So with all of these, we're just going to reinforce those score lines with our bone folder and then notch out those tabs at the end. Looks like my bone folder needs a darn good clean, actually. And let's notch. And then we're going to glue those to form little boxes. Like so. Okay. So just create four little little boxes as you've got there. And then while those are drying reinforce the sides on these little bars and what these enable you to do is um, just gives you somewhere to add your um, to create some dimension and all of these are going to pop inside so you've got the two smaller ones and how you want these to go in you want that join to be at the back so again just add a little adhesive on each tab. With the join at the back just pop those in, folding one like so. So it creates a little box shape. And repeat that process with your other two pieces as well. So you can now add adhesive to the second one. Again just popping that in. Hopefully, hopefully I can show you that. So kind of the one is going in sort of flat and the other one tucked in. So the one that's going in flat there you go and that's going to pop in there. And then this third one for the left hand side just flip it so that the join goes into that back uh, corner. Although you could have it out if you wanted to. That might even reduce the bulk a little bit as well, actually. As long as it's on the back, you're fine. So again, a bit of adhesive. And again, 
again, just pop that in. So again, you've got that little box effect there. And then all you're going to do is add your DSP onto these first before you add them into the centre of your card. So now we're ready to start um, gluing these into position. So put some glue on the large back panel and on the side. And those are going to then go into that crease there. So pop it in. I find it easy, easier to use wet glue. Just make sure it's lined up on the bottom and give it a press. making sure you don't disturb your DSP at the same time. I'm going to repeat that again. So adhesive on the back and on the side there. And that's going to tuck in next to it. And just you just want to make sure that that's lined up against the bottom of your card, nice and square. And then you're going to do the same with this last one. So again, adhesive on the back and on the side. The beauty of using Tombow is it gives you a bit of wiggle room. Obviously the downside of that is it takes a little bit longer to dry. And when you do this front one, just make sure you put it right into the crease. and then press that down very gently. So then, when that's dry, those will pull apart. So I'm gonna leave that to one side while we just organize our decorations. So you're going to end up with something that looks like this. So it creates this sort of 3D effect. And I might even end up putting a bit of seal on that one. Okay, so now to finish off our decoration, I'm adding the large floral sprigs flat right at the back. just adjust the height to kind of create a pleasing scene. This next one, this long one, I'm going to use in my smaller planter and I'm going to pop that in the back there. Then I'm going to come in with this one and you, it's up to you whether you put it in front or behind. I tend to put it behind so I add my adhesive to the front and then just position that just behind that little bar like so then we do the same with our flowers on the front there And go on adding those until you're ready. Now if you want to it is e probably easier to um, use a dry glue so you can use your seal on the front there as long as you don't sort of go over the edges of that or some glue dots would be a great way to do this as well. So I'm just going to pop one lowish down on there 
and then one slightly higher up on my middle panel and just offset it slightly so when it opens up you get that sort of 3D effect. Leaves on there. And there we have, I've done an extra one, our fun diorama style planter card that will fold, albeit a little bit bulky. It does fold flat, ready for you to pop in, um, give to your recipient. As you can see, a standard envelope. We have fresh freesia, soon to be disappearing. So, you know, get it while you can and Clipso Coral. I think I would be lovely. And I say, when they open up, you get this lovely effect of a cottage garden or planters. So, if you want to, to get any of these items, pop along to Stampin' Up! And uh, when you get to the checkout, if you choose me to demonstrate, I'd be very grateful because um, the commission that I get from selling products is what helps me to uh, provide free of charge tutorials for you. And if you stay to the end, you, you, you can click on my um, subscribe button. You'll be told when I post another video and it'll also give you some suggestions and links to my other videos as well. Thank you for watching. Come back and see me soon. Bye now.